Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, Elise. And I'm filming during the daytime for a change. You can kind of see the reflection in the window in the door. That's the back of my head. And you can see I'm facing the big window. And it's bright. sunlight. Yeah, and um, because it's daytime, there is a little bit more traffic. Um, so maybe some of you who like more white noise in the background, um, more lo-fi type ASMR, this is for you. Um, I hope you're doing well. I painted my nails right before this video. And, yeah, um, I just wanted to have a nice little chat and to give you some tinkle tinkles. Do you know what this is? I actually have no idea what it is I'm going to show you. When I open it, you're going to be surprised, I think. Oh gosh, tippity tappity tippity tappity. Actually, before I show you, there's something that I wanted to mention. And I want to say it at the beginning. Before you either stop watching, or before you fall asleep, or before I forget to say it. So, I made a Patreon, 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 I'm not sure how you say it. I've received a lot of comments over the past year and a half, however how long have I been doing this, like two years now, I don't know. Basically, since I made my channel, I've received some comments. Asking if I have a Patreon, 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 Patreon. And I've have been meaning to do it. And I did. Sorry, there was a loud motorcycle. It was very rude of him. He was so loud. As I was saying, I made a Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. So if you're interested, um it will be linked in the description of this video. Yeah. So, if you want more Elise, you'll find more Elise there. Um, I'll be, of course, doing ASMR. More ASMR videos. And that is where I'll take, like, recommendations or requests. Requests, that's the word more requests, requests, requests. So, if you have any specific video requests, I will release them on Patreon, 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 Patreon. Yeah. So, to those of you who are able to or want to support me through Patreon, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Now I can finally show you what this thing is. Look at what happens when I open this. Are you ready? I'm gonna build up suspense.
this is or what it's for. I have no idea. It's so funny. It doesn't really smell like anything. And it I thought it would be sticky or something. I have no idea what this is for. It's so funny. This is a little notebook thing from JR. JR is, I think, the biggest railway company in Japan. They, you know, the bullet trains that Japan's kind of famous for? They're made by, or like run by JR. And then they have like the biggest train system all over the country. And like within cities like Tokyo and stuff. in one of my videos recently. One of my videos, I was, it was a role play and I was measuring something and I realized that I don't have um, a ruler. But here it is. I need to sneeze. One moment. <laughs> it went away, never mind. Let's measure something. Probably just in centimeters though, yeah. This is just in centimeters because it's also. That's not JR. This is from say Minori. It's made in Japan and they use centimeters here. Let's measure my phone. My phone is 14 and a half centimeters long and seven centimeters wide. Let's measure this thing. Let's see if I can show you. How many centimeters? I can't see. Let me make sure we're getting like halfway across. It's like six centimeters. Yeah.
there's a big fluffy cloud right there that I look at. And the sun is shining on it and it doesn't look real. You know how sometimes the way that the sun shines on the clouds, they don't look real? Like it just looks like a painting. It doesn't look real. You can't see it. If you if you look in the reflection of the sky, you cannot see it. Sorry. Oh, maybe if I, wait. If I do this, can you see it? Sorry, my mirror is so dirty. you see? It looks super white. Like, the light is not focusing correctly. But this right here. This cloud right here is so bright and white and fluffy. This is kind of cool. Mirror ASMR. laundry hangs right in front of this big window. And you can see... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's cool. strategically so that you don't see the messy parts of my room here because it's kind of messy kind of messy it's clothes mostly laundry my bag stuff all the stuff It was raining earlier today. I wish it were raining now to have rain sounds, but instead it's just car sounds. But only sometimes, because there's a stoplight not too far away on the street in front of my apartment. And when it's red, obviously all the cars stop and they all build up. And then it gets green, and then all the cars will come by at the same time, and then they go away, and the light goes red, and then nobody comes and it's quiet, and then it all starts over again. Like, right now there's no car sounds. I bet it's a red light. Let's wait until it's a green light. Ready? You'll know when it's a green light. It'll probably stay red for like another minute. sorts of sounds. <laughs> yeah, definitely green now. Okay. It's like 6 p.m. so people are probably starting to drive home from work. Or whatever. 6 p.m. on a Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. When I was in, in elementary school through high school, we always had early release on Wednesdays, and we would get out one hour early. Early release Wednesdays. Did 
you guys have early release Wednesdays. Early release Wednesdays. Today is early release Wednesday. Actually, I talked to my Japanese friend and she said that they also had something like that. Maybe on Wednesdays as well. Oh, yeah, and on at university. The university I went to here had on Wednesdays only classes until 12 p.m. and then it was lunchtime and then there's no more classes like so everybody in the university was off by 12 only classes from 8 to 12 on Wednesdays thought that was interesting because it's not like that on my university in the United States Was not, was not, was not like that, was not like that. I started tapping on my phone screen and I accidentally stopped the video and I didn't realize it. <laughs> I was doing tapping, tapping, tapping on my phone screen like this. days, you know. My boyfriend is taking the TOEIC right now. Do you guys know what the TOEIC is? T-O-E-I-C. I don't know what it stands for. He stands for English. It basically, it's the popular standardized English proficiency exam. I think there's IELTS and then there's TOEIC. I don't know which one's more popular in the world. Maybe TOEIC. At least in Japan, they do TOEIC. He's taking it a lot. He's taking it now for his company. Because I think he'll get like whatever kind of bonus or whatever, whatever, if he has a certain score on it. His English has gotten really, really good. I'm proud of him. And he likes to use his big fancy words that he learns. Let me see. There's probably some examples here. This is a vocabulary book. Adapt, occasionally, supplement, income, specialized, detect, suspicious. Sometimes there's some words that I'm like, what the heck is that? Because they also, I think they mix like American English and British English. Foyer. <laughs> Clothier. Clothier? Clothier like this? What the heck is a clothier? A clothier? What? Is this a word? What? Can my British friends tell me? My English friends? Anybody from the UK? Is this a word that you know and use? Because I have no idea what this is. Clothier? Clothier? I don't know. It says a, it means a clothing store, like a clothing boutique. I've never heard of them in my life. Let's see what other words. Press conference. <laughs> Emerging Hands-on Instrumental Deliberation State of the art This is funny Controversial Unanimous Regulation Impressionist Impressionist? Is that referring to like impressionist art? What's like there's some words that are just so specific that I feel like you'll never use in real life. But they have to know to be tested on. Amenity. Abundant. Oh, my boyfriend, he was studying earlier and he learned box office. Box office. Like the place that sells tickets for a show or something. Or, or um, maybe there's one at like a sports stage. I thought that was so interesting. Box office. Holistic. <laughs> Keenly. Aisle. Accommodation. Orientation. Resign. 
fluctuation viable speculation acquisition fertilizer <laughs> resume personnel pharmaceutical cough <laughs> cough commemorate flagship store flagship store like that's so specific i don't think i've ever said that in my life prosperous commuter alternative adjust accordingly cubicle collaboration Unhealthy Expedite Reimburse Light rail huh? Light rail I don't know what that means Rafting Detergent Traffic congestion Subscriber Hi subscriber I really don't subscribe to anybody that I watch. I don't know. I feel like it's a weird commitment to subscribe to somebody on YouTube. So I don't subscribe. I'm sorry. I don't know if I should be saying that as a YouTuber who needs subscribers to be a YouTuber. Saying that I don't subscribe to anyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, withstand. Ahead of schedule. Managerial. In spite of. Inclement. Oh my god. Inclement. He has been using this word so much recently and I never heard of it in my life. The phrase that they. That this book teaches. Inclement weather. Inclement weather. To my Americans. Or people who learned American English. Do you know what what inclement weather is? Would you ever say that? Have you ever heard that? I've never heard that in my life. Inclement weather? Apparently it means bad weather. And he looked it up and it is indeed British English. So I'm wondering now to my friends from the UK, do you say inclement weather? It just sounds so like fancy. Like the inclement weather. It's just so, wow. <laughs> Well, but yeah, now he always, when it rains, he's like, oh my god, inclement weather. It's funny. Inclement weather. Inclement weather. Right now, the weather is not inclement. Right now, it's partially cloudy. It's not bad at all. Partially inclement. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. You know what is inclement? The traffic. Inclement traffic. I hate the traffic. I hope that the next place we live will not be on a main road because these car sounds are so annoying. Every time I film these car sounds, even at night, there's still car sounds at night. But that's usually why I film at night because there's less traffic. But I don't want to film at night all the time because sometimes I just want to go to sleep. I don't want to be up late, you know? I'm in a little mood, in case you can't tell. I know usually I'm. I'm, I'm like, you know, I try to be positive, um, but today I'm a little grumpy and that's okay. It's okay to be grumpy sometimes. We're not perfect. So if you're ever having a grumpy day, it's okay. It's okay to be grumpy. Sometimes you just need to let yourself feel the grumpiness. I went to this bakery yesterday and I got an apple pie, um, not, not pie. What are those things called? They're pastries. They're shaped kind of like this and they're covered in the crispy dough and there's stuff on the inside. Oh no, I don't know what that's called, but got one of those with like apple pie stuff on the inside and it was really yummy and then I got like a cheese bread thing with that cheese baked into it and I ate half of that and the other half is waiting for me but I don't feel like 
like having bread right now. I feel like having fruit. I really wanted to drink some fruit juice, but we ran out. I love juice. I'm a big juice drinker. Like, if we go out and people get drinks, I'm getting orange juice. Sorry. <laughs> I love orange juice. Um, yeah, we have an orange in the fridge, but I was too lazy to cut it up. I might do that after this video, where I think I should probably go grocery shopping, shouldn't I? I should go grocery shopping. Tell me to go grocery shopping. If you tell me to do it, I'll do it. I just can't tell myself to do it. Because I don't want to. <laughs> See, I'm grumpy. <sighs> but if I go grocery shopping, then I can get juice. Let's talk about juice. The best kinds of juice. I think orange juice is one of the best juices of all time. And my boyfriend really likes grapefruit juice. I like it, but it's kind of bitter. Like it's, you know, a little sour, but it's good. I feel very like refreshed when I drink grapefruit juice. And apple juice is good. I like it. It depends on the apple juice. There's some that's better than others. You know, the one that's like in the little glass or plastic ball that's shaped like an apple kind of? Those are amazing. They don't have those in Japan. One good thing about juices in Japan is that there's some rules about you're not allowed to put fruit, like real fruit, pictures of fruit. Sorry, wait a minute. You're not. A <laughs> the drink companies, whoever designs the cartons of the fruit juices, those people are not allowed to put imagery of fruits on the carton if it's not 100% juice. So, it's very easy to see what the real fruit juice is and what the fake fruit juice is. If you just look at it and if you see the fruits, boom, you know that's what's in it. And it makes it really, like, uh, transparent when you're shopping. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. So, it's super easy to buy fruit juice because if I see the pineapple on it, I know there's 100% pineapple juice in it. And you look down at the corner and it says 100% juice. Pineapple juice is good. I do like the pineapple juice here. I tried watermelon juice for the first time and I didn't really like it. I was disappointed. I was a little bit disappointed to be honest with you. It had a weird flavor. I don't know if it was just the juice. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It didn't taste as watermelon-y as I thought. Like it, it did, but it had a weird aftertaste if you know what I mean. Hmm. Yum. Mango juice is really good, too. I've been drinking mango juice since coming here. There's all kinds of juice. So good. Hmm. I need to get more almond milk. I'm out of almond milk. So, let's make a shopping list. Oh my gosh, let's make a shopping list. I can use this same paper. And can tell the sun is going down soon. It's getting darker. I'm not as bright as I was. Nope. Here come the cars. Here come the cars. I hate the cars. What color pen should we choose? I'm choosing from here. I really like this one, but it's so pretty that I don't want to use it because it's too pretty and I don't want it to run out. So I'll use this black one that's erasable in case we make a mistake. So she's not focusing. Hello. Can you read it? Juice, almond milk. Fooled you. I wrote this one in Japanese and I wanted to see if you would get confused. 
Yeah, this is juice. This is almond milk. Right, I got the kind of juice, almond milk. And, hmm. What else should we get? Yogurt. Yogurt, juice, and milk yogurt. I think I would like to have pasta. I'm gonna have salmon that I'm gonna grill. It's in the fridge. I took it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge to defrost, to thaw. And I think it would be good with pasta, so. I know, maybe I want penne. It's really hard to get different types of pasta here. They just have spaghetti, but I really like smaller, like bite-sized ones, like the butterflies, or penne, or stuff like that. But you have to go to the international food section, where it's usually imported and more expensive. So we'll see. But let me just write it down. I'll take a look at it. Penne pasta. I think it's my favorite because it's easy to eat with a fork. Penne pasta. So we have. Juice, almond milk, yogurt, penne pasta. I think I already have some pasta sauce. And then I should have some kind of vegetables with it. Some kind of vegetables. Maybe broccoli. I'm not really in a broccoli mood, but broccoli is good for you. Hoping we'll think about the vegetable thing. Juice, I don't know, yogurt, penne pasta. Um, ontama. Ontama, ontama is a very soft boiled egg. And if you ever come to Japan, you should try. First of all, just try eggs in general. They're really good here. Like, I cannot eat eggs in the United States when I go back. I can't. After having the eggs here, like, they just taste so bad in America. I don't know why, but the eggs here are so good. Um, and you can buy them, like, different levels of cookedness. From, like, not cooked at all to, like, Antama is, like, very hardly cooked at all. It comes from onsen tamago. Onsen is the hot spring. So, and then tamago, the egg. So, it's hot spring egg. So, it's like if the egg took a bath in the hot spring, I guess that's what, how much cooked it would be. I don't know. It's really soft and it's lovely. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put that down. Frozen fruit for my smoothies. We ran out. Frozen fruit. Oh, bananas. I totally forgot about fruit. And apples. Okay. I'll show you my list now. So, we have juice, almond milk, yogurt, penne pasta, untama, frozen fruit, banana, lingo, bananas, and apples. I will take this with me. I think I'm in a sushi mood. My favorite sushi is salmon. I like tuna as well, but salmon is my favorite sushi. Um, 
but no sushi tonight because I'm gonna, gonna be a responsible adult and make my own dinner. show you in the mirror now. It's pretty. Some of the clouds are getting pink. Okay. Can you see? Shoot. I'm not doing this well. Wait a minute. Can you see? Look. Pretty clouds. Pretty clouds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty clouds. <laughs> okay. Everybody say good night. Good night to this guy with the weird mouth. Whatever this thing is. If any of you know what this is, and if you comment and actually tell me what it is, I'll be so impressed. Because I seriously have no clue. It's so mysterious. <laughs> it's foam. It's like, you know what the pool noodles made out of? It's like that. Pool noodles. Forgot about pool noodles. I haven't been in a pool since I moved here. I don't even own a bathing suit. People don't really, like, do water activities. I've been to the beach, but we didn't wear a bathing suit. People just wear their normal clothes. I think it's a modesty thing. I don't know. Like, there are some people who do. But most... I've talked to some of my Japanese girlfriends and some of them said like they don't even own a bathing suit or a bikini or anything because they just don't want to wear it or they're like too shy or something cultural difference cultural difference yeah like I just haven't had a need for it because I've never gone swimming or anything and houses here don't have pools I've never seen a single house with a pool here maybe like super rich people but I've never seen the super rich people houses. That's so funny, I haven't thought about that. Because in America, it's pretty common for houses to have pools. Like, even if you're not a rich person in a mansion, like, you know, a lower middle class person can still have a pool. A lot of people have pools. So, I don't know when he has pools here. Huh. People don't really have yards in general a front yard or a backyard or like some grass or anything it's just like house 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 there's not much space between the houses i mean unless you're in the countryside then there's like entire farms <laughs> it's either you live on a farm or there's no yard at all there's no in between yeah but it's getting pretty dark i should go soon i don't really like walking in the dark by myself even though it's pretty safe here i still I had, okay, I'll talk about this briefly for anyone who's still awake. I always like saying something interesting at the very end of the video for the troopers who watched all the way to the end. Love you guys. Um, I had a negative experience kind of recently being alone at night. I like was followed by a man and I, yeah, it was really scary like, he followed me to multiple places, and then started to get really close to me, and then when I tried to leave, it was dark outside, and I was by myself, and he, like, it was really scary, so I ran. Like, I just booked it. I'm pretty fast. So I got away, and I ran to the nearest train station and hid in the bathroom for, like, 20 minutes. And then I took the train to, like, random stops in case it was possible that he was still following me. Like, I didn't take it to a stop near my house or anything. Um, but I made it home safely, but it was really, really scary, and so I'm kind of nervous to go out by myself now. <laughs> um, yeah, so it does happen. Japan's not perfect. No place in the world is perfect. Um, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, sorry to end it on a sad note. Sorry. I'm okay, though. I'm alright. I don't think he was gonna hurt me. He was just, like, following me and being weird. Still, that's not okay either. 
Okay, it's getting dark. I gotta go. Love you guys. Stay safe. Don't go out alone at night, especially my girlies watching. Be safe, be careful. Go out in groups. Train yourselves in, like, taekwondo or something. Learn to fight. I need to learn to fight. Here comes an ambulance. That means it's time to go.